Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadow here with your weekly When I Feel Like It update on Rust development, where this week the team have been unshackled once more to work on their own project, otherwise known as Hack Week. So let's have a little butchers at what they're really interested in, and of course, as per, all of these are just pie in the sky projects and may or may not ever become a solid, tangible feature. So restrain your excitement if you can. <clears throat> First up, Bill is working on Tier 2 Cooking on the Meals branch, which at the moment includes work on a cooking pot that can be placed on a campfire, a low-grade oven, and an electric oven that might, I presume, use the existing model as per my own suggestion a while back. Not that anyone would take any notice of what I say. It looks like there are at least 13 different meals being considered, with chicken, mixed and deer kebabs being mentioned. Very upset that pies weren't the first and obvious choice there, and that meals would require cooked meat instead of raw, so some extra work looks like it would be needed. Of course, the modding community got here first years ago and I featured some of these myself, but it's nice to see Rust maybe catching up. Tier 2 cooking is on the roadmap too, anyway. FYI. Next, to go with your kebab, or whatever, how about a nice brew? Jared is working on a branch called Tea Prototyping, aimed at potentially adding a whole sperm kit's worth of new tea types with some pretty interesting effects. Mentioned so far, they include underwater breathing tea, one that would increase crafting speed by 50%, a tea to sense animals through solid surfaces, the sort of ESP tea, a tea to double recycling speed, an explosive sense tea which would show an arc and blast radius when aiming to throw explosives such as grenades, a health regen tea, an auto smelt tea which would auto smelt ores in a player's inventory without needing a furnace, hot stuff, teas to increase weapon deploy speed and weapon reload speed, cold and hot protection tea which would clamp a player's internal temperature, a tea to halve fall damage, a horse speed increase tea and get this, a horse laxative tea which would double dung production but that would naturally consume more food as well. Oh thanks. A modular car speed tea which would double engine power and would be something you add to the fuel tank, don't drink or you'll be poisoned no matter how tasty it might look and talking of poisons. The idea would be that you can only have three teas active at a time, with an increasing poison effect the more you drink past that. As an Englishman, I can only approve of more tea of course, but what do you think of these potential new buffs? Let me know in the comments, please. Jake is working on full base heating, again, something that's on the roadmap somewhere. It looks like there will be some complex calculations to determine heat being radiated from sources, but I can't really say much beyond this right now. Flavian is working on the vehicle weapon branch, a project that looks to potentially add a cannon module for cars that can load and fire rockets. Again, this has been explored by modders already, and funnily enough, I covered something like this in the same vid that I looked into tier 2 cooking mods in coincidence? Diogo's working on a visual shader, not sure what that entails at the moment though. Ian has a hack week branch called New Gunplay, which looks like it's aimed at implementing external magazines, and Damien's working on a cliff rework project, and this one's been ongoing for some time, so I'm guessing that's a good sign. Of course, to bookend this with the same warning, this is just hack week stuff, and no matter how good or bad it might sound, it's only potential and may or may not ever be greenlit, and it's all thus subject to change, but do let me know which, if any, you would like to see added. Meanwhile, in other less tentative developments, the compound redesigns chugging along merrily, also the harbour revamp for allowing the cargo ship to dock, that new M939 truck model still being worked on, as well as a whole body of work to refresh explosion FX. Oil and diesel barrels are getting new labels to help you identify their contents from afar, and the dragon launcher and spear I showed last week are on the store. I think that is about all this week, but please leave a like, a sub, and a comment below, and stay tuned. You can find me on Twitch and lots of other places, including my Steam group, and also support my work here via Patreon, YouTube memberships, and super thanks. I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. Oh, thanks.